All right, my people, welcome back on to this one. Play to tragedy. Akere Dulu calls for calm, says situation under control. All right, my people, the news in details. Attack on Ondo in the James case of mistaken identity. All right, and then this had been said by Dayo Johnson. Akure. Okay, all right, my people, on to this. Governor Rotimi Akere Dulu of Ondo State has called for calm over her report that indigents of the state were attacked and killed in Plato State. Recall that some travelers were on Saturday attacked and killed by gunmen in the just not local government area of Plato State. The report had it that at least 15 corpses had been deposited at a morgue in the state. A statement by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor Richard Olatunde in Akure said that the attack was a case of mistaken identity. The statement reads, Ondo State Governor Arakore Uluarote Miyakere Dolusan just a few hours ago received the unfortunate report of the Plato State tragedy where some people believed to be indigents of Ondo State were killed. All right, okay, and then an unconfirmed number of deaths are believed to have been recorded while some are severely injured in the said attack. Their true identity will soon be unraveled. The governor says from the report he received from his brother, Governor in Plato, the incident was a case of mistaken identity. Well, the victims, according to preliminary reports, took a route where crisis between Muslims and Northern Christians had ensued for some time and that they may have been possible mistaken for aggressors. Well, according to accordingly, either of the two fooding groups in the area could be responsible in this regard all right my people and then on to this governor akari dolu hereby calls for calm among the people of the state urging that nobody should take the law into their hands well he particularly urges the people to refrain from any hasty coloration of the unfortunate incident according to a statement i quote i have spoken with my brother governor in plato and then he has assured me that the situation is under control at i want to plead with our people to remain calm from the report i gathered it is clear some were killed while many others who are injured have been taken to the hospital for medical attention let me again make it clear that i was informed by my colleague that it was indeed a case of mistaken identity i want to assure our people living in plato that they are not target of any religion or ethnic crisis while assuring that justice will be served i want to plead again that we do not take the law into our hands let us remain calm in this unfortunate incident we mourn the departed and feel the pains of their loved ones governor akuridulu assured all indigenous of undo state living outside the state of his commitment to their safety all right my people well this is what had been gathered so far on to this so well and then as it is the governor of undo state has calls for calm says situation under control well mm, play to tragedy well our prayer has been that the good lord will give the family of the departed no the 
fortitude to bear the loss because it's not an easy task at all well it has never been easy well our prayer is that the good lord will continue to you know protect us in this in this nation hmm. well my question has not been that well the, as far as the you know governor has said that the situation is under control that is a mistaken identity or whatsoever to me i think you know this is uncalled for because in the first place what is the problem what is our problem in this country what are we killing ourselves for yes because these are the people you are you no know, you sh you killed they are human beings so i see no reason why this will continue to happen in our land in our country because i don't understand what is actually going on in this country that we cannot even have peace of mind rest of mind why is killing everywhere and then later the regime will tell you that oh that no as far as no insecurity is concerned they are tackling it oh they have us to register the nna nin so that they will be able to tackle insecurity my brother is getting worse by the day and the right now i don't even understand what the no regime had been doing about this because it has happened and uh, it continues to happen and then at the end of the day they will tell you that oh we come straight with the family of the departed departed how long are we going to continue like this hmm. to me i think this is uncalled for something needs to be done drastically in no time because we cannot continue and relax like this no wonder everybody has been like oh if you know that you cannot save us you cannot protect us why can't we just go our separate ways because i don't understand why innocent souls will be dying on a daily basis yet the governors are not even doing anything about it you can imagine just commiserating with the family and that's all and that's just it and then you want peace to reign you want this set of people to come that say the situation is under control when a lot of people have died yet you people are just there eating taking air condition to your body eating and then enjoying yourselves because it has never gotten to your own side that is why you can just utter that kind of simple word and then that's the end well my people you know it is so wrong that you no know, a country like this nigeria are now you no know, have now gotten itself into a mess like this that things people will just be dying like mosquito and then the next thing people uh, is just to commiserate and that's all Oh my goodness what exactly is our problem what exactly is going on in the country what is the federal government doing about the insecurity in the country and right now our you no know, so-called agitators who are even trying to make sure things work out are detained and yet you are telling us you are protecting us when the people that are fighting for our betterment are detained simply because they are trying to tell out the truth the way it is oh my god in fact we shouldn't continue to be deceived by this regime we are tired and there's something needs to be done drastically in no time because we cannot afford to be losing our people we can't afford you no know, to be killing innocent souls and uh, yet nothing is always done about it hmm well i think our governors should come out if the federal government is not ready what about the state government what are you people doing about it are you doing this deliberately to wipe away every innocent soul in the country this will not work out for you in fact you people will not succeed this well until this no atrocity same atrocity start no ravaging your family that is when i believe maybe you will understand the pain to which these people are feeling because it's so unfair that no we will be in a country we will not have a rest of mind what is going on what is happening you people need to do something before it is too late in fact someone is saying that it's in fact it's late okay well i think something needs to be done onto this one all right my people many things have been said onto this what more can we say meanwhile let me have more take from you on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless